The 2020 election is in full swing, and campaigns of all sizes are utilizing SMS for voter contact and fundraising. Here are four tips you can steal from them to use in your own marketing campaign. First, you should introduce yourself to users by crafting a unique welcome series. A good rule of thumb for an SMS series is three messages. The first text could be a simple, welcome to the campaign. This can be followed by an attempt to get your voter to opt in to receive more updates. And lastly, a thank you for supporting the campaign and an ask to donate. Senator Bernie Sanders has effectively used an SMS welcome series during his campaign. He doesn't start off by immediately asking you for a donation. Instead, he asks you to take a survey. The donation ask doesn't occur until the third text. Second, you can use SMS to promote live events. 90% of people open texts within five minutes of receiving them, so SMS is a great way to draw eyes to a rally or a live debate. Joe Biden has been using this tactic during his campaign. Biden let his SMS supporters know that he was about to take the stage at town halls and debates. It's a calculated risk. A good debate performance could result in more fundraising, but a bad debate performance might make potential donors hesitant. Third, give users who want to be more engaged an opportunity to do so with an additional opt-in. If a user opts in to this other stream of content, you can give them a chance to take surveys, receive specific policy updates, donate, or more. If they don't, you can limit messages to important events and deadlines. Former candidate Elizabeth Warren effectively used this SMS technique. By texting PLAN to her shortcode, you could receive special updates on any new policy developments. Having your users opt in to a clearly described content series guarantees that they'll be getting precisely the messages they want, so you aren't devoting resources to sending unwanted content. And finally, keep your text messages conversational. You wanna be able to interact with users over an extended period of time. Offer the chance to take surveys, sign petitions, and more. You can even add in a cool GIF or photo. This will make sure that your conversations don't end after one message. Building an SMS file early on can be extremely useful. The sooner you build a house file, the easier it is to develop a relationship with voters or donors over time. If your only use of SMS is to ask for a donation one month before an election, it can look disingenuous. But if you've been communicating with supporters for months, your ask might be more successful. <coughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of Per My Last Email. Watch out for more episodes in the coming weeks and head over to image.com to read our latest case studies and journal posts. We'll see you next week. So this, um, well, okay. You know SMS as text, I don't forget if I'm supposed to keep talking. <laughs> or as you know SMS, text message marketing.